Good afternoon, folks. Yes, it is. It's a meal prep Sunday day again. Coming to you to start to show some of my main courses. This is grass-fed ground beef. Very lean. 80-20. 80% lean and 20% fat that I'm cooking up here. What I'm going to do is make that and put some rice veggie which is cauliflower rice in that and that will be one of my main staples for the week. I'll show you the finished product. Then I have some turkey sausage here. Getting ready to cut that up and I'm going to make a stir fry with some green peppers, onions, um, green peppers, onions, a lot of sweet peppers, the sweet peppers that I like. And doing those in there, I'll stir fry that and make my husband's staple, which he loves, yellow rice. And I'm uh, making some sweet potatoes, of course, that's my favorite. And that's the start right now. I am going to make my breakfast fintata because I seem to, I like that better than I do having the um, boiled eggs in the morning. <coughs> I'm not one to want to cook breakfast. So, um, yeah, that's where we are right now. We'll be back shortly. Okay, folks, I'm back again. I got my um, cauliflower mix with ground beef done. Have my salmon here ready to put in the oven. Salmon with the ghee butter. <laughs> my ghee butter. My stir fry is going in here with the turkey sausage, vegetables, uh, the green peppers, onions. And then my rice cooker is going. In the oven I have some meatballs going. So let's see how Debbie puts this all together. Still got to get my sweet potatoes and some more vegetable medleys to go on the side dishes with the salmon. But uh, I think I'm going to do some squash noodles again. But just uh, when you're making your salmon the key is to have flavor to it a lot of people say they don't like fish but if you cook it properly um, that ghee butter gives it a lot of buttery flavor and then I put uh, Mrs. Dash my husband hates this stuff because they fed it to him like with spoons in the hospital but that helps <laughs> to keep the um, sodium levels down for us then I also have here Himalayan salt. I'm not sure if you are aware of Himalayan salt, but Himalayan salt is a salt that won't raise your blood pressure. And that's something I found out in researching and YouTubing. Um, you can use that Himalayan salt and it and it doesn't rise your, your, raise your blood pressure as much. So um, we have pretty much sworn off of white salt. Uh, because we both suffer from high blood pressure so and it helps so that's the start we'll see where I go from here be right back okay let's try this again I, I deleted it before so but here I'm showing you my prepared salad for the week and what I do with salads is I usually take these for lunch along with some type of protein um, actually I like sardines um, sometimes uh, meatballs or some turkey or chicken breast salmon patty I have that on my with my lunch um, and it's very filling to me. Some people want to say, hey, you eat a salad every day, but I love salad. So it's not boring to me. But it has uh, the peppers in here that my husband talked about. 
I have some celery, and then, oh, I can't forget my wild tomatoes. One second. Forgot the best part of my salad. These wonderful Wow Wonder tomatoes. If you haven't tried them, you've got to try them. They are delicious. And along with the peppers and celery and, and that in my salad. I usually put cucumbers, but I forgot to order cucumbers this week. But I also have some celery chopped up here that I have with almond butter. Um, I like Almond butter is a little more healthier for me than uh, peanut butter. Um, I heard someone say, and I, and I can't say if this is true, but that peanut butter is like the lowest form of nut that you can have. But that, that's, that's everybody's opinion. But um, I do feel better when I'm eating the almond. Okay, let's put this aside. Those are my vegetables. And then I'm making my frittata this week again, which is with chopped ham chopped spinach and of course eggs and then I'm trying something different with coconut milk because I'm, I'm holding off of dairy for 30 days and I'm using this coconut milk in place for the milk product in it. I didn't put that in there last time and it came out good but I want to try to make it a little creamy so I'm going to use that in there and we'll I'll let you know how it comes out but um that's where we are right now with Meal Prep Sunday. Be back shortly. Yes. Okay, here we go. I'm having some technical difficulties and I have my technician. As you can see, hello. I'm not, I'm not operating the camera. I'm holding the lights. <laughs> I am. I'm having difficulties recording. Let's start this over. Okay, here are my meals for the week. As I showed you, I was making uh, turkey sausage and vegetable stir fry, and um, yellow rice is under there. I mean, I made a corn medley also, and these are mostly for my gentlemen. It has a few meatballs in there because I had some left over. But those are the ones with the turkey stir fry, corn medley. Then over here, I added spinach to these. And let's go to these. These have meatballs and spinach and yellow rice. So I like to give a variety because you don't want to eat the same thing every day over and over. But that's that. There's my um, beef and, what is it, cauliflower stir fry that I made. And I put some um, Brussels sprouts. That's not for my hubby because he doesn't like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> but we have Brussels sprouts. And then I have spinach in this one. Another one with Brussels sprouts. My sweet potatoes, You can we can have those on the side. Um, you can grab one and eat it, or I can grab one for lunch. Those are good to just cut open and have at any time, but I bake those ahead of time. And here I have some salmon fillets, and I did the salmon because um, I'm going to have that with my lunch with this beautiful salad that I made, and I showed you guys that earlier when I was preparing that. And there's my fruit. It has strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries in there. And as you can see, I have a paper towel in here. And if you want your fruits and vegetables, your fresh stuff that you chop up and prepare to last, you put a paper towel in the bottom of it. And that helps to absorb some of the moisture so that they last. Some of my strawberries and blueberries last from last Sunday, and I dumped them in here with the fresh ones on top and as you can see they all look the same because they stay dry and I do that in my salad as well you can see there I have this paper towel in there and here is my breakfast frittata 
I made that with, as I showed you, fresh the spinach, frozen spinach, um, ham chopped up, and a little bit of coconut milk in there. So that looks really good. I think the coconut milk helped to brown it up a little bit more than the other one I had. So can't wait to try that. And what I do is I slice this up and put it in, uh, in, in individual wraps so that I can just grab that and I'm out the door. Okay, this is the end of meal prep Sunday. I hope this really did help. I know a lot of my folks from up home in Monticello were uh, inspired and they wanted some uh, details on this. So this is mainly for you guys. And also don't forget to buy you uh, fruit for snacking. As you can see here, I have some fruit in this bowl here. Little cuties and <laughs> these are halos, sorry. And some banana, organic bananas and stuff. And we buy, I buy that weekly and we can have that. Cause I like to have something sweet at night after dinner. And one of those is perfect. My husband is in love with halos now. <laughs> so we're on the road to healthy Lawson's. So thank you for watching. And I hope this is inspiring for everyone. Have a blessed week. Love you. Peace out.